Hello folks and thank you for stopping by. Well I'm doing another product review and this time around I'm doing a product review on this sound bar from Vin Oil. And I would like to thank them for sending this out for our review. And um, I'm, I'm really anxious to start playing with this thing. It's a basically it's a Bluetooth sound bar that you can hook up to your TV and apparently has a built-in woofer in it too. So like I said, I'm really anxious to start playing with this thing. So you know what? Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, folks, here we are, and here is the soundbar. Now, here's an interesting story about this particular soundbar. As you literally can see, it is really long. This is the box it came in, literally. This is the shipping box it came in, as you can see. And um, I'm just going to show you this. I'm just going to tilt the camera so you can get an idea how wide and long this is. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera around. See, all the way over there. And all the way over there. So this is not a small soundbar whatsoever. When, when it arrived, I was like, whoa. <laughs> That's all I can say about it. So I'm real anxious to get inside and see what's on the inside here. What's taking up all this big packaging. So let's go ahead and get inside. So right now, what I'm going to do is carefully take the tape off of here, and um, as you're probably aware, I'm a real neat freak. If you've been watching my channel, I'm a real neat freak when it comes to boxes. I don't like tearing boxes, so I'm trying to be careful here. I'm using a little Phillips screwdriver here to maybe cut some holes in the tape. Let me try this one more time. There we go. Alright. I think that's it, folks. Let's go for it. Huh. Alright, I'll open this part up. Alright, so it's got these flaps. Let me show you. Let me turn the camera over. It's got these flaps to open up like that. Just lift up. So I gotta do each one. Oh, okay, there's no flap right here, so there's another flap over here somewhere. Lift that up, and then it opens up like this. Oops. Opens up like so. So now I'm turning it around. As you notice, from inside the box itself, I'm just trying to get get it in the cam view as much as possible. This is pretty much the whole sound bar here. I just got to get out the box here. So the first thing I do is I'm going to take the goodies out the box here. Which I just did. So this is all the interesting stuff that's in here. Let's see what's in this package. Alright. So let's go and start opening this package and see what's in, on the inside. Alright. So. All right, there we go. Opening the plastic here. Trying to be careful here. All right, I am definitely sure this is the user's manual. I'm be I'm going to be reading through this very thoroughly, big time. Okay, put that to the side here. What else is in here? Okay, I believe. If I'm not mistaken, this is one of those um, those um, optical audio cables. So it comes with its own optical audio cable. You can use to like you know you got you know you got a uh, sound system that accepts optical audio input. This is the cable you want. So okay, so you definitely can plug in audio optical optical audio into this subwoofer, this um Bluetooth thing. Wow, that's interesting. All right, let's see what else. Uh, hmm. Okay, I do not know what. Let, let me look. Let me see what this is. Oh, okay. 
I think there's some sort of card. I'm gonna put this to the side. All right. I'm I'm just guessing off the top of my head. There's some sort of sticky tab, sticky on um, pads. Like I said, I gotta read through the manual to find out what everything is about. So I definitely gotta read through the manual. All right. What else we got here? Oh, the power cord. Okay, we're gonna take the power cord out the bag here. Yep, that's definitely the power cord. And I believe it plugs right into the subwoofer itself. So you plug this right into the wall. Okay, cool. All right. What else we got going on here? Put this over his side here. All right. All right. I'm noticing I got this. I think this is like an audio cable. Yep. Yeah? It's a stereo audio mini um, plug that goes to most of your devices. So you can definitely plug this into any audio source and play through here. I'm pretty sure of that. I, like I said, I haven't read the menu yet, but I, I'm I mean, I'm just giving it a good guess. So, all right, I'm gonna open this up and see what it looks like. Yep, that's where they are. I'm going to unravel this a little bit. See how long the cable is. It's lying in, you know. This is it. Oh, okay. Plenty of wire, folks. Definitely. Lots and lots of it. Okay. Well, they ain't short you on wire spit, you know, wire length at all. <laughs> I'm gonna put that to the side. Alright. Alright, I'm pretty sure all you handymen out there already know what this is about. But I'm gonna say it anyway. I pretty much I could good guess is you can also hang this up on the wall and these right here are wall anchors you put you know drill hole put these anchors inside there you put the screw inside the anchors and it stays in the wall so yeah these are wall anchors so I believe you can hang this on the wall too just like I said I gotta read through the manual to find a board but I'm pretty sure that's what that is and we got our remote to control the subwoofer itself. Let's take it out of this plastic wrap here. Oh yeah. I like this. I like the, already I like the feel of this remote. Got your power switch on. Looks like a mute speaker button up here, I believe. Uh, you can select your inputs, looks like. Optical, auxiliary, and looks like coax cable, I think. That's what it looks like. Not sure. Like I said, I got to read through the manual and everything. Then you got these other buttons here. And I'm pretty sure BT means Bluetooth. I'm going to read that manual thoroughly. Watch me. <laughs> and, of course, the battery for the remote. So we definitely gonna get around to doing that, but now I'm really, really interested in the subwoofer itself. You know, in the sound bar, I mean, it's got a built-in subwoofer. That's why I keep saying that, because that's what it says. It's got a built-in subwoofer in it. So I'm gonna carefully take it out this box here. Woo! Oh man, this thing is massive. Oh man. I'm gonna tell y'all something, folks. Do not drop this. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna take these things off. Ease it off. Oh, when you get them, just kind of ease it off to the side. Just kind of take it off like so. You know. Just think of these as, as hula hoops and you try to take the hula hoops, hula hoops off of them. So that's what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, so that's what I'm doing right now. They really, they really, really packaged this really well. They wanted to make sure this thing 
stayed intact with, no matter what. All right, taking this off of here. All right, gonna free it from its uh, plastic enclosure here. It's got to open it at the end here, so I'm just going to basically grab one end. Take this off. I'm basically just taking it off. There we go. Okay. Let me turn this around for y'all. This is what it basically looks like. There's still some more plastic on here. Let me take the other plastic off. Folks, I'm going to put this on the table just so you can get a good idea how long and big it is. I got all this mess on the table, but I just want you to get a good idea of what it looks like. All right, let's go move some stuff out the way here. So this is the sound bar. I'm going to go from one end to the other so you can get a good look at it. So I'm just going to move this camera around. See, one end right there. That's the right here. All the way to the other end. Okay, I'm also going to show you the ends of it. So you got this end over here, and you got this end right here. Okay, roughly, I can tell you right now, this it's like roughly 10 pounds. I can tell you that right now. This thing got some weight to it, which is really good when you don't want it to move around and all that stuff. So, and it's got its own legs too, by the way. All right, this is what it looks like. Let me show you something. So, if one looks of it, I'm just going to show you this. See? You can set it down like this, I believe. Yeah, just sit it down like that. I'm going to show you in the end there. Just sit it down just like that because it's got its own legs underneath. And it's got big controls on it too, as you notice, right in the middle. I believe these are the volume buttons. That's the on and off switch right there. I got to know what that switch is about. I got, like I said, I got to read through the manual. Alright, let's see what's underneath. Okay. That's the plug. You plug it in at. Plug in the power cord. Where is that? We just had it. There we are. So we can plug our power cord into there just like so. Yep. Just plug it right in. See? And I'm going to just take it out for now. And then we got some connections over here. Right under this part right here. Let me show you. So, as you can clearly see, you got optical, coaxial, and auxiliary. And auxiliary is the one with the plug that I'm going to show you. Let's see, I'm going to plug it in right here. See? Plugs right in. That's the plug. So, you can plug this into any audio source plug it to any audio, audio you know stereo source and it'll play through this so that's cool and of course you saw the other connections here so this is cool wait a minute the coaxial looks like it's like a RCA plug looks like yeah it looks like a RCA plug that's what it looks like all right and optical all right that's cool I'm, I'm really anxious about playing with this thing Alright, so folks, I'm going to go ahead and read through the manual and find out all the details about this and I'll be back with you in a moment. So stay tuned. Alright folks, um, well, after doing some serious reading through this manual, 
I found that it has a few interesting features that I'm we're basically gonna be playing with right now. I mean, I mean, I'm very, I'm very impressed with this manual. I mean, it shows everything, and I just pretty much read everything in there and all this. Oh, I wanted to show you one thing sir, before we go any further. All right, for those that want to hang this up on the wall, I found these two brackets that was inside the box. So these brackets basically pretty much like rest on the wall like this. Pretty much touching the wrong way. The screws, the screws that I showed you earlier, along with the anchors, go into the wall, right? And uh, it will go into these little you know, two slots here. And the bracket, the the bracket will sit on the wall like this, and the other bracket will be sitting, you know, on the other side like that. You know, but it'd be wide apart though. But anyway, and um, also according to the manual, after you install these into the wall, now for those of you that are very handy with tools, you already, like I said, you already know what these are. So if you got a particular type of wall that needs these, definitely, definitely use these wall anchors to hold up the um, the sound bar on the, on the wall. And of course, of course, with the screws and everything. So definitely, if you're gonna hang this on the wall, make sure you use this. Use this. That's in the bag, along with the brackets, and also along with the brackets itself, are these pads right here. And basically, what you do is, according to the manual, you take these yellow things off. Like so. Well, I'm just gonna take one side off for now. I'm gonna put it, you know, I'm gonna put it back together. But basically, the pads will go on the go on the the bracket just like so. And the other side is sticky too. And what you do after you basically after you install these into the wall and everything, and after you make sure the sticky sides are exposed and everything. You'll put the sound bar right on top of it. Oh, by the way, it's also kind of curved at the end there, so it won't slide or anything. And uh, basically, the sound bar itself will stick to the sticky pad and stick and stay on the wall. So that's how that works. That's just that's just for y'all that if y'all want to hang this on the wall, you can. So that's what these are for. But we're not gonna be doing that. <laughs> but I just want to let y'all know what these are. I found these, like I said, in the box along with everything else. And I read it through the manual. All right, so let's go on to the next part. All right, so what I want to do first is basically get our remote up and running. So we're going to open it up here, according to the manual, and I'm going to follow the diagram inside of this. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm already going to use the batteries that came with it. So I'm going to put that in there. See, I'm so anxious to play with this thing. <laughs> oh, by the way, kind of excuse my ashy hands. If my hands look kind of ashy. I just got finished washing some dishes downstairs, you know. When, when, you know, when you come home from work and everything, you got a pile of dishes to wash. They're not going to wash themselves, so you got to wash them. <laughs> but they are clean, though, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to put this on here. And then I'm going to put this in here. And that's our remote. It's ready to go. Alright. Put that in there. Now, I just want to turn on the sound bar itself. Luckily for us, we have some power right here from extension cords. So I'm going to plug this in. No, by the way, I just wanted to show you something. All right, now according to the manual, it's a two-prong plug, but one prong is bigger than the other. That is a safety feature. And according to the manual, do not attempt to defeat this safety feature. It's there for, you know, to keep you from getting electric shock and all that. So if you have a wall outlet that uh, won't let you fit this in, basically replace that outlet. 
because you know it's not gonna do you any good you know you'll find those type of outlets in really old homes and they don't have this these type of outlets where you just plug it in with the one blade bigger than the other replace those blade you know re replace that outlet if you can't fit this in there so that's a safety feature there so keep that in mind too so and I also got a plug that has one thing bigger than the other so I'm gonna line that up plug it in it's plugged in and as you notice the light came on on the sound bar it lit up all right so I'm gonna put this to the side here all right now I could turn it on from here and call it a day but I want to see if my remote works so I'm going to hit the remote button here there you go and that's the sound bar you just heard that beep there now I'm noticing something else going on in the front too I'm gonna bring it up to, to you so you all can see what I'm seeing you saw that that's flashing there. That's a little dis you know number display right here, and of course the remote sensor is in this area too. Keep that in mind. I can tell you right now this thing got, does have some weight, so do not drop this. <laughs> All right. Now I showed you earlier that uh, about these uh, plugs right here. What I decided to do was to plug in the mini plug into the mini jack on here for sound input. So that's what I did. And the reason I did that is so that we can play around with this little player. Now, if any of y'all are familiar with my channel, you already know what this is. And I'm going to leave it at that. Let's get a good look at it. I did a video review on this. It's on my channel. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Actually, let me turn this on first. Do 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 do. Just waiting for it to come on. There we go. It's on. So I'm going to go and plug this in. Okay, there we go. All right, and then I'm gonna put it on auxiliary, which is this button right here. That's where it's on right now. So I'm gonna press auxiliary. That's the button, you know, that's the plug. So I'm gonna press that. And as I press auxiliary, that's what shows up on the display there. As you can see there, AU, auxiliary. So, I'm going to put this back now. There we go. Alright, let's start playing with this thing. Alright. Alright, there we go. Let me find something on here to play. I got a TF card on here that I got stuff on. From TikTok. All right, here we go. You can hear it. So what I'm going to do with the remote, I'm going to turn the volume up. All right, so here we go. And turn the volume up. You are an amalgamation of attributes. Oh my goodness. I gotta tell y'all something. This is like impressive. Spartans! What? Now also, I can turn the volume up from this device itself, so that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just turning like loud. Alright. 
I'm not puff guy. Hold, oh. I'm not puff guy. I'm turning the vinyl on. Dad, no, I'm the puff guy. So you're a puff guy. Thank you. Oh my goodness. You hear that? No, mm -mm. stop. Sorry, man, can I help you? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm here to go viral on TikTok. Nope, sorry, not on the list. What? Why not? You're not a super hot girl, and you're not lip syncing, so. Ah, but I'm super funny. See? It's really loud, folks. Hi, guys. I'm turning it down. You hear that? That is impressive. The bass on here is impressive. Oh, no, total atomic annihilation. It may fall to you to save the great nation. That's why Voltec has made extra preparation and are proud to present to you a special education regarding aptitude. Oh, you goodness. are an absolutely unique amalgamation of attributes. So this is good. This is really good. I'm going to turn it down. Oops. It's kind of loud. I ain't trying to know my neighbors, so I'm going to cut it down. <laughs> I don't want my neighbors banging on the wall, wondering what's going on. But as you can hear, it's pretty loud. I mean, it's really like it was just pumping in here. Stuff was moving around here. <laughs> oh my! So you can definitely do that with this. Plug this to any um, audio device that supports this. You know, supports this kind of plug. And you can start playing music through there. But the other feature it has is the Bluetooth feature. So I'm definitely going to show you that next. Stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, we're in the section of the video where we are going to hook it up by Bluetooth. Now, I just wanted to give you a good look at how, you know, how long the sound bar is. I think I already showed you earlier, but I mean, like I said, I'm, I'm very impressed about the size of it. <laughs> you know. Plus, you just heard the sound earlier. I'm, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with that. And it can be, and as you heard, as I turned the volume up, it got really, really loud in here. Of course, I don't want to make it too loud because, you know, like I said earlier, I don't want to make the neighbors mad. <laughs> so, uh, well, here we go. So now, we're gonna go ahead and use our cell phone this time around. Now, the device I had earlier, I showed you. They had Bluetooth feature on it too, but I wanted to go ahead and do it from the smartphone instead because very likely you'll be using this to play music through this. So I'm going to use our smartphone. I'm going to get into our smartphone in a moment. Um, okay, play around on our Android phone. It should also work with any other device you got as Bluetooth, including your iPhone. So it should, definitely should work with that. So right now, what I'm going to do is go to our Bluetooth section on the smartphone. So I'm going to go here. Now already, I'm going to make sure, I'm going to make sure it's on Bluetooth. So I'm going to tilt this up so you can see it. Right now it's on optical. That's what the OP is for. So I'm going to put it on Bluetooth. Now it's on BT. All right. So it's on Bluetooth right now. So let's go ahead and find our device. Oops, I turned it off by mistake. There we go. Back on. Mm, these other Bluetooth devices is trying to find, but the one we want, I'm going to settings on here. The one we want is going to be right there. And it found it instantly. As you can see. So that's the one we want. VLS 83 Vanilla. Vanilla. Click on that. It should be perm. And it's paired up. So. It's ready to go. Let's start playing with this. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to my TikTok channel. 
play one of my videos. Oops. Let me turn the volume off from down from here. Uh uh. No, play one of my videos. <laughs> ah, that's my TikTok channel. Alright, so I'm gonna pick a video. Any video. Hmm. Let's see. What do we wanna play? I'm gonna play this one right here. Okay. I'm gonna turn it up from the phone itself. Something. Yeah, you should. <laughs> Are you doing it? No, those were just some startup noises. I that like comes on. You sound like I'm too loud. Though, right? Oh, maybe I'm printing now. For our demonstration purposes, oh, I'm gonna noises. turn that off. On, you were fine this morning. Yeah, I was. But you aren't in a hurry this morning. What? That's right. You're playing by my rules now. Son of a... Uh-oh. Looks like we need more magenta ink. I'm printing an all-black font document. Use the black ink. Magenta! Uh, and... Okay. So, as you can see, the booty feature works pretty well. Let's see. What else can we play here? Just playing around. I'm going to click on this video. Who tried to reach out to the man who died in this pursuit? Uh, they were unavailable for comment. Looks like they need to upgrade their phone plan soon. <laughs> All right, this is pretty good. This is pretty good. As a matter of fact, let me get off of here, off TikTok, and go to my Instagram. Play around in there. See how that sounds. All right, let's find my thing here. Okay, so let's play one of these videos. Uh -oh. Hello. Oh, hold on. Let's start that over. <laughs> to ask a few questions about this breakfast cereal. Uh, yeah, yeah, box of tricks. That's right. I've been led to understand that tricks are exclusively for children. Is that correct? Well, I, I mean, they say uh, tricks are for kids in the commercials. Uh-huh, right? uh-huh. And is that enforced by law? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. So if I purchase these tricks, there'll be no trouble? No, no, you, you, sh you should be fine. You do understand that I myself am not a child. I, I was able to sniff that out, yeah. Okay, I'm going to bring these back to my apartment. Uh, yeah, yeah, you'll, you'll be okay. <laughs> oh, boy. I found that to be funny, so I put it on my Instagram. That's very funny. <laughs> but yeah, you definitely can play around with this. And... Um, So, on my next segment, we're going to hook this up to the TV and see how it sounds from the TV. So, stay tuned. Hello, folks. Um, well, I, I finished taping the last segment about this Bluetooth features of this um, soundbar. I noticed something interesting that popped up on the um, smartphone. So, I'm going to show you it. And um, the two features that showed up was one, well, I'll go with this one, unlock the smart lock. So on some, I guess certain Bluetooth, on certain Android phones, or I guess on iPhone 2, this comes up. So you can unlock your phone with the sound bar. You can set it up just by hitting that and everything. But the other one that got me interested was the one that says Bluetooth media browsing. That basically means that you'll be able to review the music or whatever you're playing on your device, in this case on this cell phone, on the smartphone, from the, the from this device by using the plus or minus signs on this. Without having to be at the phone, you're just gonna review the music just by pushing these two buttons. So that's cool. You know what? Let's set it up. So, 
I'm going to do what it says. It says, let me see what it says here. It says, peer support, support it, supports advanced feature, repair from peer to enable it. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is turn this back on, turn the Bluetooth back on. Wait for it. All right. We did that, that's why that disappeared. So let's try it out. Okay folks, after repairing, you know, re, re you know, rehooking up the the phone to the speakers, the other feature that I showed you is working on here now. And uh, I'm about to show how good it works. Now basically, that feature that I showed you earlier that it has allows you to control your music with the remote that came with the soundbar so I'm just gonna pick an app any app well actually what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go into YouTube first and I'm basically gonna pick a playlist to go through with the remote so here we go I'm gonna go on my channel and I got like I'm going to my playlist is right here that's on my channel and what in the playlist I'm going to go to I'm going to go ahead and go to my first playlist which is our interesting product reviews so I'm going to click on that I'm going to hit play to get it going And hold on. You know what? Let's go to another playlist. Hold on. Let's go to another playlist. Let's go to another playlist. One that has some music on it. Um from YouTube. So these are from all these all these channels by the way are on YouTube, by the way. All the music that's in this playlist is on YouTube. So that's what I'm playing right now. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the volume up. Oh, first though, there we go. Just make sure this is in Bluetooth mode and you know, everything's hooked up Bluetooth. All right, so here we go. Here's the remote. I'm gonna see if we can pause it. Yes, we can. See? Hit it again. Now, of course, you got your volume up and down buttons right here. This is the lower the volume, this is the raise the volume up here. But these, these right here, allow you to change the music. So, I'm gonna go forward first. I'm gonna get to this side. This music is on YouTube. On YouTube. See? All this is on YouTube. Let's see how it sounds under this particular one. Furious Angels by Rob Dugan. This is from the Matrix. If anyone, you know, if everybody's familiar with it, you already know this is from the Matrix. Matrix Reloaded. Plugged up to your TV though. Sit around, we can 
popcorn or whatever. So I'm gonna go forward. I don't know why That's commercial, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna go and skip that a little bit. That's not a piece of music that's on YouTube. I added to my, you know, drum drum cues electronic voyage. forward that's on YouTube I'm just going through the music so you get an idea how it sounds I'm pretty sure you got the gist of what it sounds like now. <laughs> I mean, this is really fun. And with the remote, it makes it real easy, you know, selecting music and everything. And, of course, you can lower the sound and up it. And, of course, you also can adjust the volume, as I showed earlier, from the device you're using itself to make it even more louder or lower. And that's that. So... We are going to move on to the next thing, which is we're going to hook this up to the TV and see how it sounds from the TV. Stay tuned. All right, folks. Well, as you can see, I have put the sound bar right in front of this TV, and I'm basically about to hook it up to the TV. Now, in this particular case, this TV has several ways of outputting, outputting sound and one of those ways it can output sound is VI is by um, you know optical cable basically it's got an optical port in the back of it and um, it allows you to use that signal and you can plug that signal into the speakers here so now the cable that came with now I showed you earlier the optical cable. I unraveled it as you can see. And it's got these caps on it and everything. And I just wanted to show you something. All this is basically is this cable right here is basically is it's basically a fiber optic cable, basically. And um, I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So right now I got one in in front of the lens right here. And I'm just gonna kind of tap on this. See that? That's the light it's picking up from the other end from the light source I got in here. I'm going to make it a little bright. I'm going to go right towards the light source that's in here. You see how bright it's getting? And then I'm going to put my finger on top of it. See that? Optical cable. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go in the back of the TV here and plug this one in into the port that's back here, the optical cable port. And um, usually, if you have one, it's usually already glowing red if it's already on <laughs> sometimes on some TVs you might go into settings to turn it on but on this particular TV it's already on and it's you know well you'll see in a moment so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in the back of the TV where the optical port is you'll see the difference Basically, gotta line it up, make sure the square is lined up back here with the port itself. There we go. And now I'm gonna show you this. See that? That's the actual sound signal encoded in that red light. And these speakers will be able to translate that. It's actually digital. So it's a digital signal being encoded in that light there. So we're going to plug that into this sound bar. So I'm going to turn this over carefully. And we're going to plug it into that part that says optical, which is right here. 
So we're going to plug that in. Make sure to line that up. No fuss, no muss. Got to make sure it lines up, otherwise it'll keep you from doing it. It makes sure you don't put it in wrong. There we go. It's in there, as you can see. Now, I'll put it back down. I'm going to turn this on right now it's on auxiliary because uh, I was playing around with it earlier and so I'm going to turn it over into uh, optical which is basically this button right here this is optical so I'm going to hit that And you can hear it. I'm gonna turn the volume up with the remote. Eight times. Oh, that's the digital signal. I'm gonna turn the channel. Right now we're looking at digital TV, so it's a little funny acting. Eight hundred. I gotta hang the antenna up a little bit. Hold on. <laughs> Bang for your there we go. The next money in your. Check in on Pie There we go. All right. We'll know your name when you check in with Domino's Pie Pass. I'm gonna turn the sound up. To bypass the line and get in and out fast. Sounds fast. I'm gonna show you this while I'm doing it. <laughs> The number changes. You carry out three topping Domino's pizzas for seven ninety nine each. Oh my God! I'm gonna see how loud we can get this. Oh my God! Glamorella modeling agency got the pictures. Now I went on top of Oh! My dream is finally coming true. I'm gonna change the channel. To be the world's first flying leap. Best experience in these communities. It's just a matter of degrees. I mean, you give us free reign of the ghetto, we solve your problem. I got pregnant. This is from the TV. Matt says after watching that report, he did his own DNA test. Hey, say you're you're not you're not being. You understand? He told me something else. I don't know that. I okay. September and a statewide ban yeah, begins this coming July 1st. Businesses who violate the ban could be fined anywhere from fifty to five hundred dollars. Ouch. And of course Well, happy Friday everyone, except if I'm you're on the beltway, you might not be in such a good mood. Now if you want to put the sound bar on mute Bridge Road, we're having get this button right here, that's up here. This little button right, right here. Loop is definitely hit that. Heavier from Green Spring Avenue to Parent. Make sure you point the remote at that. Now the only sound you're hearing, if you, if you can hear it, is coming from the TV itself. On some TVs, you can actually turn off the speakers from the TV and just have the audio go through the device you have hooked up to the TV. I haven't done that, but if I wanted to, I can go into the settings on this TV and do that. But that's the only thing you're hearing right now. Now I'm going to turn the sound bar back, you know, from mute. Avenue, Liberty Heights Avenue at Rice. Now, let me show you something. We have Hillen Road, Road Northern Parkway. It's going to flash Northern like Parkway this. And you put it on mute. Avenue. It's going to say zero. That lets you know it's on mute. It's going to keep flashing that for a few seconds. So you take it off, of course, and then. A visit to Imity Bank Stadium. There we go. We're partners, Sam Cook. Showed him how, and of course, punt. you could do the same thing and from the controls on the sandbar itself. Punt, sending the ball out of view, then raise the volume. Was Gordon Ramsay's turn. I'm told was pretty good, and he got off a nice kick. Um, I'm not sure how, <laughs> how good it is to see. Here he so, goes now. This is him coming up. His knee is that's way from too his bent TV. when he kicks the ball. Uh, come on, Gordon. Come on, Gordon. 
I'm going to pause. Oh, put this on mute. All right. Now, a lot of TVs that's out there won't necessarily have the uh, optical output on the back of the TV. So, in the next segment, I'm going to show you how to still hook this sound bar up to your TV if it doesn't have that. So, stay tuned. Okay, folks. Well, I um, basically brought the sound bar to another TV. And the TV you're looking at right now is roughly one of those 32 inch TVs those big TVs and um, as you can see the sound bar is pretty long this pretty much gives you a fair view of how long it is so it is it, like I said it's an impressive size on it but the feature I wanted to show you is that remember I was earlier I was saying that suppose the TVs don't the TV you want to attach to doesn't have an optical output you know thing on it well you can definitely hook it up by this way. Using the plug that I showed you, this plug I showed you earlier, that allow you to hook up to any sound, pretty much any sound equipment that supports this. And um, all you basically have to do, go underneath this, look for auxiliary, which is right here. Go look for that. Plug it into auxiliary. Like so, see? Alright, done that. Gonna put this back over here. And now, what I'm going to do is hook it up to the headphone port that's happened to be on this um, TV so this TV has a head foot headphone um, plug on it so all you have to do is basically plug this into the headphone jack on here and that's what I'm gonna do so that's what I'm gonna take that off just put that in there all right now it's in there I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on Alright, so now what I'm going to do, now since the headphones is on, I can turn the TV up, but as you see, you hear nothing, there's nothing going on. I already turned it up, but it's nothing going on at the moment because now the sound is coming through the headphone, headphones, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on auxiliary. So I'm going to push auxiliary on here. And you're going to see this, and I'm going to turn this up. I'm going to put this on auxiliary. Now the sound is coming through the sound bar itself. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Now, right now, the sound bar itself is on its hot setting. It'll let you know when it beeps like that. Right now, it's as loud as it can be. And of course, you turn it all the way down. And it lets you know it's been turned all the way down. There is no sound. It lets you know. So I'm going to turn it back all the way up. Just make sure that when you operate this sound bar, make sure the remote can see. I mean, the sound bar can see from here. This is where the sensor is at. Make sure it's there. And uh, okay. so now I'm going to turn the TV up itself. I think earlier in the week said that the virus was contained. Caitlin Collins traveling with President Trump. Thanks so much. Uh, let's uh, talk about this and how the president is handling this. Let's uh, see what else is on the TV. Hold on. The health let's, aspects. Let's turn from this. And policy. Uh, there's got to be something else on here. At the risk of an outbreak. But he is back here and in the finals. 
No. Ooh, Law and Order. Ooh, Law and Order's on. I can't check everything. Oh, okay, I never turned TV up. Now, right now, I'm purposely... Yeah, pressure chamber. I am going to purposely turn it all the way up as high as I can possibly can without messing, you know, annoying my neighbors. So I'm going to turn it up. You're going to see it here get really loud. Let's do this. It was torture quick. It's the perfect setup. Grabs the girl he parks in the garage. He drags her down here without anyone ever seeing a thing. There's blood by the drain. From the slaughterhouse right to the now, Sounds like he tried to clean that's up That's at bleach. 59 on the TV. Maybe somebody kills him, he's still still through with the drain of blood. Let's see if Campbell can explain his way out of this one. The TV itself can go all the way up to 70. I'm not going to settle because it'll be way loud in here. But I'm pretty sure you, you, you get the point about, you know, the sound quality of the sound bar. You have to believe me. Our text to turn. Shouldn't you pay less when you... Let me see if I can find some music on here. Hold up. So everything from Cryos is classified. Yeah, that's what they told me. You have military and civilian SCI security clearance. Right, yeah, they're still not going to tell me anything. So what does that tell you? No. It tells me that no matter what they're hiding, it's a murder. So Caroline can get us a warrant for their records. Apparently not, Cher. I've been to three judges. White music. All of them deny the request. On what grounds? The old classic, national security. Are you kidding me? National security. But it's a special All circumstance right, so let's because find murder is involved in clearance. They said murder hasn't been proven. Proven? The Jeffersonian has more than enough evidence to music get a video. Did you what show music them the files? I want to play. Let's I've see. tried everything, but each judge booted little old me out of their chambers within five minutes. Who controls three different judges? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Uh, what is it? I got lunch with Stark right. and Congressman Hadley from the subcommittee. You still going to keep all this from them? Wouldn't you? All right. What can we find on here? Was trying to find some music to play, folks. And ninth ribs and to the sternum, no remodeling. So it happened just before he died. I've seen similar fracture. I was gonna play this one. Hey, kids, Bop Kids. What is this? Let's see what it sounds like. I'm gonna turn this up and see what it sounds like. Tell them nothing. <laughs> so I, I really like this. This is this is a really nice sound bar. You know what? I like it so much. I'm gonna go ahead and um, provide the Amazon link in the bottom of this video, so you can get this bad boy. Hook it up to your TV and have some fun. Don't forget it has Bluetooth features too. <laughs> so um, thank you for watching. And have a great day. Right,